Hi and welcome to another review. This is about the Freesat box, which is a Humax HDR 11000S with one terabyte hard drive in it. This is also about moving away from a paid subscription such as Sky, like I did, and then going to a Freesat box. So, why have I gone for a free sat box? Okay, so I could have gone for free view, but I've got a satellite dish, so it made sense to make use of that rather than my TV aerial. Plus, it seemed that I would get more TV channels that way. And the reason I've moved away from my paid subscription to Sky is because it was costing me £33 a month, and that seemed a bit heavy a bit big to me i mean i only had the variety pack and uh, to be fair 99 percent of the channels that i watched or that my children watched or my wife recorded was on a free sat box anyway so it seemed that i was paying 33 pounds a month unnecessarily or i was paying 33 pounds a month just to get the sky channels and that's what it basically boils down to you don't get the Sky channels. So you don't get Sky One, you don't get Sky Witness or Sky Atlantic. Now they tend to change names every now and again, so uh, that in the future they might be something completely different. So this is more about why the decision-making process that I went through and um, the reasons for doing it. So the box itself uh, is it's quite a nice slimmer box. Now this isn't actually number, it's already empty, because I've already got it set up and going. I'll show you with that in a minute. But it does have all of the features. I mean, thankfully, my wife's already written on it. So, yeah, so you've got 200 channels. Yeah, that is true. Uh, you've got HD channels. That is also true because there are free uh, uh, HD channels that you can record. Up to 500 hours. That's only if you're recording in a standard format. If you're recording in HD channels, you get less but it's still something ridiculous, like uh, 150 hours. You can pause and rewind TV, roll back TV, and it also comes with an app for your phone, which I haven't actually tried, but uh, it's, uh, if we have a look on the back of the box, there's nothing in the box, just empty rubbish. If we have a look on the back of the box, just a minute, let's turn it over. So it shows that you can actually use an app for that. So. It has a Wi-Fi connection, uh, but it also does come with an Ethernet cable, and there is a connection on the back for it. Uh, the Ethernet was easy to set up. It was just a case of picking it from a list. Uh, the interface is quite good. I will show you that. HDTV, blah, 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 pause, rewind, all of the sort of things that you, you expect from a Sky TV box, really. So, uh, other bits and pieces, you get a rather swanky looking remote, just like you do from Sky. And in fact, it looks a lot like the Sky remote. But, uh, so as I said, Ethernet cable, you also get a HDMI cable. Uh, you also get the power cable for it, of course. And um, I, if you, because it's a free sat, it will need a satellite dish. It will need a satellite connection. Now, one of the things that I did before I decided to buy this box, and let's quote a price right here. I got this uh, box from Curry's and it cost me £209. Now let's that, take that into account. Now I'm paying £33 a year, so a month, for 12 months a year. So that works out at £396 a year that I'm paying for TV. So by buying a £209 box, I'm actually saving myself money after about six months. So it's going to work out cheaper in the long run. Now, it's, in, it's important to point out that you actually get a two-year warranty with the box. So uh, you can also register your product. You get like a nice little register your product there. So you go there and register it. And uh, uh, you have problems if you experience any installation operation difficulties, you can contact them. Um, now, interestingly, before I decided to buy a FreeSat box and move away from Sky... Uh, I contacted Humax and said, will this work with my current satellite dish? 
And one of the interesting things that they actually asked me is, do I have Sky Q? Now, I don't have Sky Q. I've got one of the older setups. I've got just a satellite dish with satellite connections. But it was interesting that Sky Q was different somehow. So obviously it uses some other type of connection. Maybe it just uses the internet. I don't know. Never had it. Maybe someone can help me with that. But yeah, so you get all of the cables you need. And uh, interestingly enough, the, you can get this in black or white. But the white box was £10 more expensive. I don't understand that. It was just white. <laughs> but all the same. Right, okay. So let's go and have a look at the box as it's set up and we shall have a look at the interface which you get here nice picture of EastEnders look it's in Beal so this is the back of the box and what you've got here is you've got your two satellite connections from your satellite dish you have some audio ports and an SP diff you have a USB connection and that's the port for the Ethernet you have your HDMI and you have your power cable uh, and that's all there is to it. I mean, it is literally a case of plugging in these SAT cables, connecting it to your TV and powering it on, and that's pretty much it. So let's turn the box around. As you can see, it has a nice blue light on the front of it and a couple of controls on the top, look. Just like that. Now I don't use those, I just use the controller. Okay, so let's have a look at the screen itself and see what features it gives you. Okay, so here we are and this is the TV and obviously the remote. Now it's worth pointing out that the remote can be set up to control the TV and there are instructions in the box to do that. So it's quite nice and easy. You can see you've got recordings buttons here uh, and you can also, you've got like a TV guide. So we've got a TV guide and it zooms in. You've got all of the channels. now. This is a very interesting feature and it's one that I really like. It's this one. See this little circle symbol here? Now if I wanted to watch that, what I can do is I can actually watch from start. And what that will do is, because I'm through the pro some of the progress of the show, it will actually let me watch Bargain Hunt from the very start and start streaming it from there. I also get to choose whether I want to watch it in HD or whether I want to watch it in you know, just standard definition mode. Or I can also record it. I set up series linking, all of that sort of thing. So the menu is very, very easy to use. Now, when you want to actually watch a recordings, you've got the recording button here. So it says recordings, just click on it, and it gives you a list of the, the uh, programs that you like. So my wife likes Neighbours, and we both like Bake Off and Strictly, uh, Doctor Who, both like that, and uh, Peter Kay. We love Peter Kay. And so you can shuffle on the side here. So you've got all of them A to Z. It says pressing complete the wrong button. Uh, those that are planned, those that are coming, these are to be recorded. These are the ones in HD. Uh, ones that are going to be deleted because you've got too much space. Well, I've only got 2%. I've only used 2%. Been using it for a long time, uh, a few months now, and uh, it's been absolutely fine. I, so you can series link and all the rest of it. So you've got quite a wide range of things that you can actually do with it. So it's great. I really like this box and I, I am not missing Sky at all. And uh, there is a different reason for that. And I will do another video for that because this is involves this little fella here. And you may see at the bottom that it says now TV, something else that gives you Sky channels at a much cheaper cost, but that's a different video. So, it's a good box. It's got large capacity storage. The first problem is, is it is expensive to buy one straight off the bat. The cheaper version, which has a smaller hard drive, is still £170-ish. And there is a more expensive version, which is £300, which has a 2 terabyte drive. And that's all you're paying for, is the hard drive size. Um, so, apart from the initial layout, which is, like I say, £209, but you will re reap that over the next six months and then you'll start breaking even and then you'll start saving yourself money after that now obviously i've had to um get rid of my sky subscription fair enough i don't have sky anymore so and like i said i'm not missing it neither is my wife neither are my kids you know and we do have as i said now tv which is a sky 
product, uh, but it's a lot cheaper. It's a seven pound product uh, subscription to that, but you don't all have to pay it every month if you don't want to. Uh, but I'll do another video on that. But I love this box. I really do. I think it's great. I have to say thank you to my mate John for putting me onto these. They've been around for a while now. And if you've not heard of them, now you have. I recommend them. If you want to move away from a subscription-based service like Sky, you even something like, um, provided you've got a satellite, you know, Virgin TV or any of the other subscri subscriber services, uh, that you pay for then yeah you obviously you need the tv license because you still get bbc one and bbc two which is what you pay a license for but all the same you'll be paying that anyway so it's a great box i love it the menu is great the cost is a bit daunting to start off with but if you can afford to put some money aside and get the the black box which is 10 pounds cheaper for some reason then i would go for it you know you will save yourself money in the long run Two years warranty, you're definitely going to save yourself some cash. So, thanks for watching. If you like my reviews and my videos, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you a subscriber. Hit the bell notification so that you keep up to date with any of our new videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.